I didn't know the other people that were doing these kinds of shows anyway, so we just went out and did our little thing. We uh, took over an old studio that was, uh, we made a studio out of. Uh, we started on 66th Street. ABC had a studio there, and I remember we built the sets uh, of the of the so-called Great House. And uh, I remember going there the night before we were going to shoot. I was with my wife, and I was with Bob Cobert who did the music, and his wife. And I was fascinated by this whole thing. I we walked in, and here are all these sets. And uh, we walked through all the sets, and I, God, I couldn't believe it. It was so exciting, you know? And the next day, when we did the first show, in those days, we used to put, we used records for the music. As we were, the show was being taped, these Records were being put on, and people were running around the booth screaming and yelling. It was an absolute madhouse, and nothing was good enough for me. Everything had to be perfection. We're trying to make it all work in this half hour. <laughs> it was an incredible experience, and that was the opening show of train pulling in. And we had gone out and shot footage. I thought, what a great idea, since no one ever did this before. I'm going to go out with a little camera crew, just me and a couple of guys with a 16 millimeter camera. And I'm going to shoot all of these practical locations. Then we'll cut them into the show. You know, we'll tape the show and we'll use this. And we went up to Newport and we shot a bunch of footage of this girls' school up there that we were going to use as the house. And then we shot something with a car coming down a hill and it was almost like going off the road. We almost killed ourselves doing it. Uh, and then we shot a bunch of footage in uh, Essex, Connecticut, which we used for, uh, said we said was Collinsport. It was the Collinsport Inn, which was the old Essex Inn. And some of the waterfront stuff, took all of this footage back, <laughs> tons of stuff we shot, and tried to figure out when we were writing the scripts where we could run the film, you know, have something lead out of it. And we shot something that was supposedly the blue whale, and we had the actor who was playing Sam Evans stagger out of the blue whale and come up the street. Just a lot of generic stuff. We didn't use most of it. Actually, what we ended up using were, were a bunch of... Uh, uh, Still slides, and, you know, stills that we took. <laughs> it was nickel and dime television at its best. I think in those days, the entire show, uh, the below the line now, I'm not talking about the actors, but I think the whole show was somewhere around $70,000 a week for five shows a week. I remember. Uh, Mitch Ryan, who played uh, Burt Devlin. And Mitch was in some scene uh, with a uh, great old character actor by the name of George Matthews. And it was, Mitch Ryan was, was uh, talking to these guys, a group of men, about problems at the cannery, some, some storyline that wasn't working at all. And Mitch was supposed to uh, make some speech that he forgot. And he went up. And he said well, something like, well, that's it, Amos. You take it from here. And he turned around and walked off, <laughs> leaving George Matthews staring after him. <laughs> Fade to black, you yelled. me up. That's just walked right out of the set. <laughs> we had a lot of stuff like that. And then the first time I ever directed was a, the greatest nightmare that ever happened. You know, to live through that. Uh, I think maybe it was the worst show ever put on tape. In those days, electronic editing was, uh, you did with a razor blade and uh, 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 silver foil. You know, magnifying glass, you'd cut on the lines. You know, electronic editing didn't come in until shortly after that, and that was like the Wright brothers. I mean, that was a true joke. You'd stand it with two machines, you go one, two, three, and the guys hit the buttons at the same time. <laughs> they didn't hit him at the same time. The cut would be made in the wrong place. <laughs> I have a very strange imagination. I was never thinking about, is this new or is this different? That never came into the equation. It's just, oh, what am I going to do next? And I would have to squeeze my head real hard and come up with this, these bizarre stories. Some of them worked and some of them didn't.